Hey there and welcome to my studio. I'm going to go over this quick example on how to receive data and publish data using the MQTT nodes within Node Red. So this example I've outlined in the tutorial, but I'm going to just show you quickly here because sometimes people are visual learners and it's easier to just watch somebody do something and you'll get it no problem. All right, so I have four terminal windows open. The first one's running Mosquito. The second one is running Node Red. The third one has the uh, subscribe command for Mosquito, and then the fourth one has the publishing command for Mosquito. Then I also have my Chrome browser open with Node Red. You can see Node Red is on 127.0.0.1, that's port 1880. And then I've just put in a couple comments here in this flow. I've got a subscribe to topic comment and a publish a topic comment. And I'm going to go over both of those scenarios right now. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an MQTT node and we'll drag that over. And then we're also going to grab ourselves a debug output node and drag that also over. And we'll connect the two together and then we'll double click on the MQTT node and we're going to use our local host uh, port 1883 as the server and so to access this you're going to click on the pencil and you're going to just type in localhost port 1883 and then the rest of the settings will be default so that's what I have and then the topic we're using today is called topic slash hello and so I'm going to name this uh, node um, subscribe and we'll go ahead and click done and that looks good so what we'll do is we'll hit deploy and it's really just that simple so if everything is working correctly you'll see that underneath subscribe it'll say connected and we'll go ahead and we'll open up our publishing terminal window and we're going to send it um, we're going to send the topic hello topic the message hello world so I'm just going to hit enter and you'll see that it shows up here inside of my debug window saying that we received this message so that's really as simple as it is now we've got mosquito communicating to node red and so that means when we go ahead and we connect up our Wemos D1 mini we can send information using mosquito and receive it inside of node red so the other side to that is being able to send information um, through Mosquito to um, something that's uh, subscribed to it. So we want to be able to publish a message. So what we'll do is we're going to bring down an input inject node. And then we're also going to bring down our MQTT output node. We'll connect those together. And rather than sending in a timestamp, we're going to send it in a string. So if you just double click on timestamp, go up to payload and then choose string, we can send it hello world. And I'm just gonna put inside parentheses node red to show you that we're sending this message from node red. And the topic that we want to send this message on is called topic hello. And then I'm gonna give the name publish. And so that's pretty much all you need to fill out. You can click done. And then for the MQTT node, we're gonna go in, make sure you choose your local host, 1883 server. The topic is gonna to be topic hello. And this topic name can be whatever you want. So you can call this topic name, my special topic, so long as you're publishing messages or you're receiving messages on my special topic. So whatever you wanna call this, you can call it whatever you want. Just make sure you're consistent or you won't be receiving data. And so then I'm just gonna call this um, publish. And so now we've got our message that's gonna be published to our publishing MQTT node. So we'll go ahead and we'll deploy this. You'll see also that we're connected here on the publishing side. So when I go ahead and I click the inject, what will happen is we should see inside the debug window, hello world node red. And then if I go ahead over in my terminal and I subscribed to that topic, we should also see it appear here. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll inject this node. And you'll see that our hypothesis was correct. We now see hello world inside of our debug tab. And we also see it in the terminal window where we're subscribed to topic hello. And that's pretty much it. We've now established bidirectional communication using Node-RED and Mosquito, which is our MQTT broker. I hope this little mini demonstration was helpful. And continue scrolling through the rest of this article so that we can get our dashboard set up working with the Wemos D1 Mini. Until next time, my name is Liz with Learn Robotics, and I hope to see you soon.